able to measure and calculate the framing and placement of your shower niche so that full tiles start from the bottom of the shower pan or the bottom of the tub and end up right there, right below where your sill will be installed. Now pre-planning and measuring is key. Having a full tile at the bottom of the sill and a full tile at the top here is aesthetically much more pleasing and simply looks better than having notched cut tile around the bottom corners and the top corners. All right guys, let's show you what we're working with and what we're going to install for this demo. We will be using this prefabricated shower pan for demonstration purposes. This can also work with a dry pack shower pan as well. Install your dry pack, install your foam pan, lay down your shower pan tile with cardboard backing and pull your measurements from here. Framed up a small little wall. Of course, niche, backer board. Here's the tile. Typically for a walk-in shower, we install the niche approximately 48 inches above the shower pan, but for this circumstance and because of this small mocked up wall, we will install our niche three rows up, 36 inches, and it'll be placed right there. We will also cut and fabricate this stone for the sill to show you what the final product looks like. Okay, now it's time to pull some measurements. Find our placement, frame, install the niche, install some backer board, mix up some thin set, and install tile. Here we go. Finding the height so we know where to cut out this stud. Okay, here's the simple calculation you need to do in order to come up with where to measure and draw your line and make your cut in your center studs to install your horizontal bottom plate I measured 35 and 3 quarters with three 12 by 24 tiles and spacing. You then subtract one and a half inches for your bottom plate two by four. Also subtract one half of an inch for the half inch thickness of this prefab niche sill. And for safe measure, subtract one eighth of an inch, as you can always build up a little bit with inset when you install that sill. So this is where you draw your line and make your cut. Leaving the cardboard below for your thin set thickness. Bottom plate, level. Mark your niche for center. Now measure and cut your vertical studs. One for the left, one for the right. Time to measure and cut out our opening. Let's cut and install.
Well, there we go. Full tiles starting at the bottom of your shower pan tub, ending at the sill here. Well, there you have it. Full starting at the bottom of your shower pan or tub, ending at the bottom of your shower niche, behind and above. This looks symmetrical, balanced, and this aesthetically looks much better than having notched cuts in your tile around the corners. Thanks for watching. Tap that bell notification down there. Tap subscribe, tap like if you like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.